Hey royalties, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be showcasing my items from my clothing company, First Generation. If y'all watched my recent videos, you would know that I recently launched a clothing company. Back in September, um, my items feature African-inspired phrases and illustrations. So if you're interested to see how I style these pieces, keep on watching. So starting off with one of the most popular pieces from my company, I am wearing the African as Bug sweater. Um, this piece actually comes in a t-shirt, it comes in a crop top uh, women's t-shirt, as well as a, um, well I plan to get hoodies as well, so that will be available soon, but right now it's only sweaters, um, a unisex t-shirt and a women's crop top t-shirt. And it comes in various colors, I am currently wearing the black uh, sweatshirt. And um, this is the design. This is uh, pretty much a play on the periodic table, if you couldn't tell. <laughs> so it just says African as fuck. And yeah, it's just a pretty cute, simple design. Um, I'm styling it with some crop jeans from ASOS and some sneakers. Um, I'll step back so that you guys can see the full outfit. But this is a pretty cute, chill sweater that you can wear. You can dress it up. You can dress it down. Right now I'm dressing it down, but you can style it any way you want. It's cute, it's comfortable, and I absolutely love it. I want to show you guys this real quick. I also wanted to show you guys that these items can be dressed up as well. So this is the same sweatshirt I was wearing in the previous clip. I just paired it with a leather skirt and some heels. And, you know, it went from casual and cute to like dressy and cute. So just wanted to show you that these items are very versatile. This, the t-shirts are versatile. Sweatshirt is versatile. You know, you can wear it many ways. So. That's another way I would style this sweatshirt. All right, on to look number two. <laughs> For the next design, I am rocking my goat t-shirt. Um, this is actually a kid's um, t-shirt. This is the girl's youth t-shirt. And it fits me pretty well, of course, because I am petite. So for my petite ladies, you can go ahead and shop the petite girl section. It will fit you just fine. I'm actually wearing a size large. But yeah, this shirt actually comes in a unisex t-shirt. Comes in a unisex uh, sweatshirt as well as a crop top, a women's crop top. And yeah, this is the design up close. Um, underneath it just says, give our ancestors thanks. Um, so I wanted to change the meaning instead of using grades of all time. I actually got that suggestion from one of my friends. So shout out to my friend who suggested I, you know, have it mean something else. Um, I had to brainstorm to try and figure out what I can have it represent instead of the uh, greatest of all time. Um, so it did take me some time, but I finally came up with it. It just came to me one night and yeah, that's what I came up with, um, give our ancestors thanks. And I think that that's just a great phrase. Um, it pretty much represents what my brand stands for. It's about giving a nod to our ancestors, being proud where you come from, and just, you know, representing well. So I absolutely love this design. I started with some black jeans, some boots, and I'm gonna throw on a leather jacket so you guys can see how I style the whole completed look. I'm actually wearing one of my illustration t-shirts. Um, this is the grinding like Pepe t-shirt. 
let me step closer so that you guys can see the design. Um, so it's pretty much a depiction of African women in a marketplace selling um, some goods. Um, this one right here, she's selling some bananas. Um, there's another one down here selling fruit as well. And yeah, it's just you know showing a depiction of the everyday hustle and bustle um, in a marketplace. On the back, um, it has the phrase, why anything like Pepe? Um, but funny story, um, this is actually one of the first sample t-shirts that I ordered. I didn't realize that I spelled grinding incorrectly so my cousin has noticed it one day and was like what's gridden I'm like what do you mean what's gridden and so when I saw it I was like oh I I realized I spelled it incorrectly so I did update that so don't worry it's spelled correctly on the website but yeah on this one it's not <laughs> but yeah so this is how it looks again it comes in a unisex t-shirt it comes in a crop top style t-shirt as well as a sweatshirt and a kids um, t-shirt and yeah it can be styled up it can be styled down right now I'm gonna style it very casually um, I'm gonna pair it with this sweater that I got from Fashion Nova and I think it would pair it very well uh, the, comp the colors complement it very well so I'll go ahead and step back so you guys can see the completed look For my next design, I'm rocking my Rated R t-shirt. This is actually in the crop top style. I styled it with some leather um, pants that I recently got from Express. And yeah, so this design is actually a play on the Rated R logo. So it just says Rigo, just like my ancestors before me. Again, it's giving nods to, of course, our ancestors. I'm just being proud of where you came from or where you come from. And yeah, it's just a simple top. Um, let me show you guys how the crop top actually comes a little bit above the belly button, so it's not too, too short. Um, I just tucked it into the pants, and um, it pairs very well together. So, again, I'm going to step back so you guys can see the completed look. t-shirt is another illustration t-shirt of mine. This is the Chin Up Queen t-shirt and this one comes in a neutral tone color which is this one that I'm wearing now and then it also comes in a more multicolored one. Um, I'll insert a picture of what that looks like and that one is actually perfect for like spring summertime. You could also style it right now but I, I think it's best to style it in the spring summertime. But yeah this is what it looks like. And I actually wore this to um, Chizzy Duo's Afro Brunch and um, Simply Sin, who was one of the panels there, she actually really loved this t-shirt. So um, I did reach out to her about collaborating and she went ahead and purchased this shirt. She absolutely loves it. So shout out to Simply Sin. She's a real one. She's so sweet and genuine. But yeah, this is what it looks like. So it's pretty much an illustration of Nigerian women wearing the Nigerian headpiece, the gele. So they're wearing like, you know, various styles of gelas. And then on the back it says, um, chin up queen or the gelas slips. <laughs> so it's pretty much a play on the phrase chin up queen of the crown slips. So yeah, I absolutely love this top. I styled it with um, some black ripped jeans and some flats. And yeah, I'll go ahead and step back so you guys can see what the completed outfit looks like. So the next design I'm rocking is my royalty design. 
and this one just features the um, Ghanaian symbols, the Adenkra symbols. Um, so let me get closer so that you guys can see the design well. So yeah, again, these are the Ghanaian um, Adenkra symbols. Um, these are all mean different things. This one is probably one of the most popular ones. It means um, except God. Um, and this one in the middle actually means royalty, which is why I specifically placed it within the word. But yeah, I absolutely love this design. Um, let me go ahead and step back so you guys can see the completed look. Um, yeah, again, this comes in a children's t-shirt, the crop top t-shirt, um, the unisex t-shirt, and the unisex sweatshirt. And these sweatshirts, by the way, you guys are so warm, so it's definitely perfect for like the winter time. I just, I literally wear these like all the time because they're, they're so warm. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and step back again so you guys can see the completed look. But I don't think you're looking to. So won't you tell me what I got to do? So this last design is my Move to the Beat of Your Own Drum illustration. So this pretty much is an illustration of Igbo dancers. Um, if you didn't know, I am Igbo. My mom is from Nigeria and her tribe is Igbo. Therefore, I am Igbo. Um, I knew I wanted to have this design because, you know, I have my royalty design that features the Ghanaian symbols. So of course I needed to have a design for my Igbo side as well. So let me show you guys how it looks up close. So as you can see, they're just dancing, they're getting sprayed with money, which is a cultural thing back home. So that's why I wanted to have that in the illustration as well. And um, yeah, again, it comes in a sweatshirt, which is what I'm wearing now. It comes in different colors, as well as a t-shirt and the kids t-shirt as well. So yeah, I'll go ahead and step back so you guys can see how I style this look. Okay guys, I'm starting to lose the sun so I'm trying to hurry up, but yeah, this is actually one of the last designs. Um, I recently added this onto my website. Um, I'm offering beanies and as well as dad hats. Um, so yeah, this is what one of the beanies looks like. It's going to come in various colors and it's absolutely so warm. It's perfect for winter. It just features my um, logo, my company logo, which is of course first generation. And yeah, this is what it looks like. And something like this, I would actually just style it on its own. Like I wouldn't pair it with like like another one of my designs because I just feel like this in itself is already a statement piece. So I would just wear it with something simple, which is like what I'm wearing it with. I'm wearing it with a black turtleneck and jeans and my bands. So I'll go ahead and step back so you guys can see the completed look. So guys, this is the um, hats that I was referring to. This is the dad caps or baseball caps, however you want to refer to them. Um, and it just again features my first generation logo. This one is the um, black stitching. Um, it also, also comes in a white stitching, as you can see here. And it's going to come in a gold stitching as well. And uh, the hats will come in various colors. So yeah, just I like this hat a lot. It's super cute and chill. So I'll go ahead and step back so you can see how I styled the hat. So 
So you guys, that is it for this video. I thank you all for watching. Let me know in the comment section below which design was your favorite and which look was your favorite. And remember to check out my website. I have linked it below. So thanks again for watching and I'll speak with you guys in my next video. Bye.